Next dissection is going to be of the shoulder muscles, but in order to be able to do the shoulder muscles, first you have to be able to separate the clavodeltoid and the clavotrapezius on the anterior side. So in order to do that, you have to make sure you have your pectoantibrachialis. You come underneath that. And the pectoralis major is underneath this, so you have to kind of work your way through this. And then the top side of this is going to be where you're going to find the clavodeltoid. deltoid. So right down the top of the arm here. Okay, so this is where the pectoantibrachialis is a thin little strap of a muscle, and the very large pectoralis major is underneath this. So you need to kind of work at separating that from the pectoralis major. So there's the pectoantibrachialis. Then when you found that, you can work toward the clavo deltoid muscle here, which is also sitting on top of the pectoralis major. Okay, and then that's going to turn into the clavo trapezius as it goes up the neck. And there's this little white line right there that's going to separate these two muscles. So, in the back, we're going to work with the deltoid muscles first. So here I'm pick, lifting up the clavodeltoid, and I'm looking for its natural separation here. All right, now I'm at the white line, so this is the clavodeltoid, and now I'm going to look for the other deltoid muscles. It really helps to remove all of the fascia material on here so that you can see the lines of the muscles. Because right underneath the clavodeltoid, I'm looking for the acromiodeltoid, which is right here. And so I'm going to want to free that acromiodeltoid up. And then looking from the other side here, I can see a line where that would come through. So then if I take my probe, I should be able to come underneath that. And this is the acromio deltoid, and this is the clavodeltoid. Okay, now I'm going to look for the spinodeltoid. I've got quite a bit of fascia material on here, so it's a little bit harder to see. It helps to kind of pull the arm over so you can see where the muscle are. These muscles are attached pretty much to one another, so finding the separations between them is not as easy as it was with the leg muscles. But this next muscle right here is the spinal deltoid. So as I pull this over here, I'm going to separate this muscle. And 
this muscle is the spinal deltoid. So I should be it should be able to get underneath here and separate it from the acromial deltoid. Okay, so the three deltoids here would be the clavodeltoid, the acromial deltoid, and the spinal deltoid. And you need to be able to get underneath all three of those muscles. All right, now we're going to look for the trapezius muscles. So the trapezius muscles are going to go more on the back. So as I pull this down here, I want to look for a place where the clavotrapezius is going to be separated from the other trapezius muscles. So if I pull down here, should be able to see a place to make a natural separation here. So this neck muscle here. Alright, then there's a little muscle right here which is called the levator muscle. It goes across here and then there is the acromiotrapezius which is right here and then this is, we're going to further define here the spinal deltoid here. Right. So now the spinal deltoid is right here. The acromial deltoid was right here. And then we need to separate out the trapezius muscles. So the clavotrapezius is going to come across here across the neck and now we're going to look for the natural separation of the other trapezius muscles so the one right on top of the shoulder blade here is the 